Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we're going to be testing out a new makeup product. So let's get started. Step away from the scotch tape and get ready to wing your eyeliner like a pro. There's a new makeup tool that will help you nail your next cat eye with precision and ease. So the product that we're going to be testing out today will be this one, Wing Eyeliner Stamp. So this is in the style classic. There's also a different style which is dramatic. Now this is a small food grade silicone stamp that provides the perfect winged eyeliner blueprint, making the execution of a flawless cat eye about a million times easier. Well, that's the claim. Now we have two stamp products, one for the left eye and one for the right eye. All you have to do is the simple instructions at the back of this packaging, which just states that you have to apply liquid liner to the stamp, then press firmly onto the ends of your eyes. It's exactly like using a rubber stamp and ink pad only you're stamping a perfect winged cat eye directly onto your face. Cleaning this eyeliner tool is also very easy. All you have to do is just take a wipe and just clean it off. You can just use water and soap. It is so easy and effortless. You can also just use micellar water and cotton pad. And it is easy to clean even if you don't clean it right after use. But please don't make that a habit. As I mentioned before, this eyeliner stamp is made up of silicone and the surface is so smooth. It allows you to easily clean it and prep it for next time. All you have to do is just soak a cotton pad with some micellar water and just gently sweep across the eyeliner stamp and it will remove all the product in one go. Now let's put this makeup product to the test. For non-waterproof liquid eyeliner, I'm using Lush's Independent Wing Out with this flexible, comfortable, flake-free and ultra black matte eyeliner. It's sold in this very handy glass vial and can be easily used because it has a very fine tipped eyeliner brush with it. Apply the liquid eyeliner to the stamp. Make sure the stamp is fully coated with the eyeliner ink. Align to the edge of your eye as indicated and press on in a quick stamping motion to avoid smears or smudges. You just have to keep in mind when you are about to press down the stamp is not to press down too hard. Just touch it lightly to your skin and pull away. If you press down too hard, you can cause the stamp to mush further into your face, causing your skin to rise around the size of the stamp and creating a fatter wiggly line. And that's something you definitely don't want in a winged eyeliner. I have a rough outline of the eyeliner shape I ended up with. I can create more precise edges by dipping a cotton bud in makeup remover and cleaning out any spread out eyeliner ink. Using a cotton bud makes it easy to sharpen those fine details at the very tip of the wing. Just clean up enough to get a more even symmetrical look. Once you've got your wings inked on, all that's left to do is to fill in any lighter spaces that the ink didn't completely cover and extend your eyeliner along the rest of your eyelid since we're going for a very classic eyeliner look with the included fine tipped brush that the Lush eyeliner has. Let's complete the eye makeup look with a few more products. An eyelash curler, any brand would do. Insert the lash curler down to the base of your lashes, gently close and squeeze for about 5 to 10 seconds. Slide the eyelash curler down to the ends of your lashes, close it and pulse gently to curl the tips of your lashes. Do the same with the lower lashes. For mascara, I'm going to be using Volume Million Lashes Fatel from L'Oreal. This is shade black. This iconic millionizer brush multiplies and lifts lashes for defined lash by lash separation without any clumps. Now this is uniquely designed to amplify and separate lashes from corner to corner while building breathtaking volume. Because I'm using this mascara, I don't even need false eyelashes. That's how good this is. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Bourjois Liner Stylo Ultra Black. And the best part is, it's retractable. Another great feature is a built-in sharpener, which is located at the end of the pencil. It ensures precise results anytime and anywhere. Intense deep color from the very first stroke. Convenient combination of an easy-to-use pencil with a long wearing hold of a liquid liner. Bourjois Pencil Eyeliner is enriched with carnauba and beeswax, giving it an ultra-soft texture which glides effortlessly across the delicate eye area without snagging. So this is my final look for just the eye makeup. Yeah, it is good. It did its job, but not very quickly. With some practice, this can, I can really get better at this, inshallah. Uh, and I will show you the casualty, like the behind the scenes of how much product it's wasting. It's just better to use this and get a perfect wing somehow. 
rather than just using stamps. So this is behind the scene. I'm sorry, it's so hot. I have to turn on the fan. Look how much, oh my God, that is too much. It would be just easier to apply it like this. Like, why do I need the stamps? If you plan on buying these stamps, just remember practice makes perfect. Eyeliner can completely change any look in a flash. There are plenty of different ways that one can apply eyeliner, but this trend is called the fishtail eyeliner. All you have to do is just take the stamps, reverse them, and place them on each eye upside down. Now, this trend is very easy to do, so beautiful, and totally expressive. Now, since this is a very bold style, you can choose how thick or thin you want that reverse wing to be. Now, the thicker the line, the bolder the look. Using lines that are very thick can draw attention to the eyes and can really define them. Using thinner lines is a great way to use this look subtly without drawing too much attention or overwhelming the eyes. A fishtail liner look is essentially a cat eye line on the top and a mirror image line on the lower lash line. Overall, this is a look that can be tailored to any eye shape and that can flatter any eye shape. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, Press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do. But I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out. It's so hot. Ugh. <sighs>